G'day trendsetters, how are ya? It's been a little while, mainly due to the weather. We've had a phenomenal amount of rain, probably somewhere around eight to 10 inches of rain over a three week period, which has been fantastic. But now the weather has changed, it's a bit cooler, it's a bit drier, and we can get back out in the garden and rebuild more, more or less. And I want to start with spaghetti squash. It's a little bit late in the year. This is where mid-February, so it's a little bit late in the year to be planting these. I probably would have preferred to have done this mid-October through to about the end of December. But the reason for it is that my daughter sent me a text and said, is a squash a pumpkin or is a pumpkin a squash? And I said, basically all pumpkins are squashes but not all squashes are pumpkins and the question mainly came about because of the English and American cooking shows that she likes to watch on on YouTube and they always go on about squashes so for me there's uh, what I call a pumpkin is like a hard shell squash so things like the butternut pumpkin uh, Jap pumpkin and a few of the others there's obvious ones like Queensland Blues and all that sort of stuff. They're a pumpkin, we all know that. But they're also still all squashes, technically. Uh, how spaghetti squash came up is that I found a little uh, info photo with all sorts of squashes and pumpkins listed in the photo. And, and one of them was a spaghetti squash. And she sent a text back saying, what's a spaghetti squash? And I said, well, a spaghetti squash is when you cook it, it comes apart a bit like spaghetti and you can use it as a replacement to spaghetti and she said where do you get them from and I said I don't know I said I've never grown them but I would like to so here we are that's a short story long that's why I'm growing spaghetti squash so as my daughter and I can try them and see how it all works spaghetti squash so on the 8th of the 2nd today is the 22nd so 14, no, 8, yeah, 14 days ago, I planted these little seeds, which you're not going to be able to see, but they're just the bet the normal pumpkin sized seeds that you, that you might get out of a, a little butternut or a, or a Queensland blue. Pop them into these three little pots, one seed each, and they all grew. So these came from the seed collection company that's uh, the seedcollection.com.au is where you'll find them on the internet they are fantastic this little packet of seeds it's about 10 well it says here 10 seeds but there's 14 in the packet so good value dollar 50 for that the postage was only two or three two or three dollars i can't remember and it, it was here within a couple of days it's a great service from the seedcollection.com good selection uh, they do herbs, vegetables, and flowers. Good strike, good germination, strike rate. I've never had any trouble with them. And they, if there's something a little bit left to center, a little bit unusual, uh, I always try them first, and they seem to have it. So between them and Green Harvest Seed Company, i pretty much got it covered. I'll put links in the description below of these as well. What else? There's also another thing, I might have to make a separate video on this, it's called, so we've got winter squash, summer squash and pumpkins. It's all a little bit confusing, but the whole three of them are grown in summer. This is what they call a winter squash. Um, and I, the best I can tell winter squashes and pumpkins and all that are all the same, they can be stored over winter. Whereas summer squashes are things like, um, oh, I think the Northern Hemisphere calls them courgettes, we call them zucchinis. They've basically got to be eaten uh, within, within a, a month, I guess, two to three weeks of, of picking during summer. So they'll fruit during summer, but you've got to eat them in summer. The pumpkins and the harder squashes uh, are winter. So that's the difference between those two. There was somebody else did say Winter squashes will grow on a vine. Summer squashes will grow on a, on a like a, not a proper vine, not a true vine, but just 
it, it's still not a twining vine like your pumpkins and, and that. Anyhow, I'm sort of waffling. I'll have to do a bit more research on that and find out what's what. But I want to plant two of these. So I'll have one spare to give away. So if you're in the Toowoomba area, let me know. If you want a spare squash, I've got one there for you. But first things first, I've got a, an old zucchini up the back which is just clobbered with powdery mildew because of the rain we had. Like the rain we had was for, it was over a two week period. It was overcast and if it wasn't raining, it was drizzling and foggy. So it, it was just decimated. So we'll get that out of the ground. Do a little bit of soil prep. Just I'm just, they don't need a lot. So I'm just going to do uh, a little bit of blood and bone and a bit of uh, sulfate of potash just to help with the flowering later on. And hopefully I've got enough time to get a fruit off of these. Oh, that was the other thing between winter and summer squash. Summer squash will fruit quicker. So your, your zucchinis are like eight to nine weeks, whereas these guys will need nine to 12. So there's just a bit of time difference between the, the two of them as well. So let's go and get the zucchini out of the ground. So got a bit of a mess here, got to clean up. That's the, uh, I call it a wild amaranth. Grows like mad here as soon as we get rain. I've got morning glory over there, cooch all through here. But this is the zucchini that I want to get rid of. It, uh, I probably had zucchinis for the first time here for a long time, but I had to hand pollinate everything. I couldn't get mother nature, so to speak, bees and whatever to actually pollinate the zucchinis. The only time I got a zucchini is when I actually did hand pollination. But anyhow, I've had enough zucchini, so let's see if we can do this the easy way. And with a little bit of magic, go one, two, three. How good's that, trendsetters? Magic of YouTube. Now, while you're away and all the magic was happening, I've added a bucket full of compost to here a large-ish hand full of composted chicken manure and a handful of sulfate of potash. Blended them all through together and ready to go. And this is the fun part, planting, which there's nothing to really. I'm gonna try and train one that way and train one this way. So I'll put them about a foot apart Gently tip the pot upside down. I'll give these guys a mulch with some hoof lung dung. That's certainly going to help them get away as well. Now, Okay, that's that. I'd like to say now is that if you have enjoyed this video or found it in any way helpful or informative, please uh, subscribe, like the video. It all helps to, to growing the channel and allowing me to make more videos like this and others. Hopefully these guys grow well. We get a fruit and I might see if I can go into the kitchen and make a video and see how it works because I don't know how it works either but the spaghetti squash are in and raring to go and I'll see you in the next video cheers and thanks for watching